Yeah. Um, hello, every, everyone. Welcome to today's class. Uh, today we will talk about uh, uh, subject about boys and girls. Does anyone have the two clue what we will talk today? Their gender. Oh. Their interests. Yep. <laughs> So your your point? major is bio chemistry. Uh, chemistry so I have no idea. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, are you going to talk about teenagers or no? Nope. Or little kids in general? Or just no. in general? General. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I want to talk about uh, why there are some babies are boys and why there are some babies are girls. Yeah. So first, I will talk about the differences between men and women. Uh, Based on the genetic levels, all of the people have 23 pairs of chromosomes. Uh, so what is chromosomes? Uh, <laughs> genetic material. Yeah, yeah. Our yeah. Gene. yeah, it contains the genetic information about the our bodies. So, uh, so 23 pairs of chromosomes give us like uh, 46 single single chromosomes. And if you look the microscope, you will see the chromosome is like this. So the pair will be like this. Okay, like uh, for all the people, we have the uh, almost the same. 22 pairs of our chromosome, and the only difference between men and women is uh, on the 23rd. So for the 20, uh, sorry, uh, the 22 pairs of the chromosome, which are a question. Uh, the question that this pair of chromosome are the same, or um, if you you draw the one pair of chromosome, they are the same, or they are the different? They are the sister chromosomes like they contain the same kind of information and they will get paired to each other. Yeah. Yeah. If you have something wrong about this one or any anywhere around this one you will get disease, something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <coughs> and the twenty two uh, same chromosome we call auto auto chromosome. And the last one, yeah, I'm sorry. Oh, excuse me, I didn't get very well the, the answer to the question. Oh, yeah. They, um, they are sister chromosomes. Yep. So they are not identical, but they are, they have similar characteristics or maybe similar information. Like, uh, if you have, uh, yes, for example, uh, the eyes, mm -hmm. yeah, if you, if you have blue eyes or black eyes, like the gene will contain some both of them. Okay. And yeah, if you uh, like, we will see that like, blue eyes. Uh, we use a, a, a. If, if you these types of genes, you will have blue eyes. And if you get like, so, so this here is a, a here is a, a. You will get blue eyes. So if you have this one is a, this one is like this one. You still have blue eyes, and if you have this one, it's little a. Maybe you will have black eyes. Okay. 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 And so uh, the twenty-third pair of chromosome we call sex, sex, sex chromosome. So for the female, uh, we will have X X which means that we have one, uh, both of the two chromosomes are uh, X type. This is what we call, it. is the name about the chromosomes? And then, yeah, this is XX. For male, it's XY. So if you got one Y of chromosomes, it will be uh, male. Yeah, like this one, if you 
you get x x you are girl. If you are x y you are bad. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, uh, so, so we will move to why there are some babies are girl and why there are some babies are boy. <coughs> so during the uh, reproduce process. Women will produce the egg, contains the sex chromosome. Yeah. They will separate to those are eggs, and both have the X chromosomes. And for the men, they will produce the sperm, and so they will have one contains X. And Y contains what? So during the uh, fertilization process, yeah, uh, you will have a chance to that this one, that this one, or this one, that this one. This one. Yeah. So it will give us. So it will give us four uh, two types of uh, yeah, pair, yeah differences. And this two will be a girl baby and this will be a boy baby. So it's like the yeah. I'm just finishing the <laughs> <laughs> so it's like uh, we have fifteen percent to get each, yeah, girl, boy. Yeah. So, so basically, uh, during the whole fertilization reproduction process, um, is is a probability. You do not know if you're going to get a, a girl or a boy. It's like a whole, just because this uh, yeah. the chromosomes just kind of pair up in a random way, right? Yeah. Okay. So, are there instances in like kind of like in the medical field where you can control uh, yeah. what kind of sex? So, basically, what happens? Yeah. Uh, actually, uh, for one baby, they have fifteen percent. But if you're doing some like, they can do <coughs> some technique to separate separate the sperm genes. So you can uh, you can use only X for only one to meet mm -hmm. the female eggs. Yeah, so you will have, maybe you want boys, you, you could separate this one from this, you will get boy, and this one will be a girl. It's not reasonable, I think it will break a balance between men and women. It's not good. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, that, um, uh, in the news, and, uh, uh, there are many famous stars, like they have the twins. One is boy, one is a girl. I think it's very usually. I think maybe mm -hmm. they use this technique yeah. to give them like yeah, one boy and one girl. Yeah. <laughs>